PCL. Here we're showing you how to install and use the PCL Nexus Nitrogen Inflation Range. PCL's extensive range of Nexus Nitrogen Equipment incorporates a generator model with built-in digital inflator for automatically inflating four tires simultaneously, a multi-head digital inflation model for automatically inflating with different front and rear tire pressures simultaneously. There's also a standard generator-only model for use with existing delivery equipment such as the Mark III tire inflator. Installation and setup of the units is very simple. Before power up operation can commence, the user must install the air filter bracket and hose hanging brackets onto the outside of the machine. This is done by holding the filtration unit with brackets attached in position on the left side of the unit and screwing the two nuts and washers into the holes next to the compressed air outlet using a 5mm Allen key. Repeat the process for the four hose hanging brackets locating two on each side in line with the holes in the cabinet sides. To commence startup, connect the power supply cord to the IEC socket on the back of the unit and then plug into the normal power supply socket. Secondly, the air supply must be connected to the air inlet on the side of the filtration unit using your existing air hose. Please note that your compressor supply must be a minimum of 8 bar for the NEX2 units and 10 bar for the NEX6 and membrane units. Now turn the machine on by switching the blue button on the front to the on position. The LCD will light up and the unit will run its normal startup checks. Wait until the unit display reads the default pressure. For the generator and built-in inflator unit, simply connect the four hoses supplied to the four output connections on the bottom of the unit. Set the target pressure using the plus and minus keys. Then clip the connectors to the tyre valves. Turn the stop fill valve on the side of the unit to the fill position. If you only want to top up a tyre already inflated with nitrogen, press the start button on the front display. If you want to convert an air filled tyre to nitrogen by purging the tyre, simply press the M2 on the front display screen. Once the unit has completed inflation, end will be displayed and an audible beep will sound. Turn the stop fill valve on the side of the unit to the stop position. Remove hoses from the tyre valves and store on the hanging brackets on the side of the unit. For the generator and built-in multi-head inflator unit, follow the same installation procedure. Then connect the four hoses supplied to the four output connections, ensuring the blue-coated hoses are connected to the front tyre ports and the white-coated hoses are connected to the rear tyre ports. Set the target pressure for the front and rear tyres on the display using the plus and minus keys on the two top displays. This will set both controllers for the front and rear tyres simultaneously. Press the far right key to show the current inflation mode. Default mode is purged from startup. This is displayed with two inverted steps. This will purge and fill the tyres with two cycles to convert from air to nitrogen. If you only want to top up a tyre already inflated with nitrogen, press the far right button to show a single outward step. This changes the mode to standard inflation or top up cycle. Then connect the two blue colour coded hoses to the front two tyre valves and the white colour coded hoses to the rear tyre valves. The inflation process will automatically start as soon as the hoses are connected. When each pair has finished the cycle, the screens linked to each hose will show end and an audible beep will sound. Remove hoses from the tyre valves and store on the hanging brackets on the side of the unit. For the generator only unit, follow the same installation procedure. Before starting, you must ensure a hose terminating in a coupling connection is attached to the output port on the front bottom panel of the unit. Then simply connect the power and air supply to the machine and turn the power on. To begin inflating, connect the coupling end to the existing inflation or delivery equipment such as the Mark III tire inflator and use as normal. Please note 
that the display screen shows the internal tank pressure only. This is not linked to the inflation device. If you experience a problem following the installation or startup process, please contact your PCL agent. If you come across an error code on the screen, please refer to the user manual supplied. Alternatively, contact your local PCL agent or PCL directly, where a member of the team will be happy to help.